Now, if I were to say to you, who do you think of when you think of someone that gets a hip replacement? You probably immediately think of someone that's old. Well, I want to introduce you to Miss Charla, who doesn't <laughs> look so old, does she? Not at all. You are how old, Charla? I'm 53. Okay, and you've had how many hip replacements? Two. Okay, so it can be done and you're doing amazing and living an amazing life. I am. I'm so grateful. Yeah, it started out not so great. I was having a lot of pain doing normal things like yoga, walking the dog, going upstairs, sleeping. And so I ended up getting connected with the Salt Lake Orthopedic uh, Clinic here at St. Mark's and got Dr. Nicholas on my team and that was the best decision ever. Turns out I have uh, hip dysplasia. Okay, so Dr. Nicholas, mm -hmm. we got to bring you in. What is hip dysplasia? So hip dysplasia is where people, uh, it's how they develop, okay. uh, where they can have more of a shallower socket. There's different levels, but for her, she had a shallower socket. Okay. Uh, and a subset of those patients, uh, where again, the hip is a ball and socket joint, there's a little less coverage. Uh, they have a higher propensity uh, to develop early onset osteoarthritis, which was what Charla had. Uh, and so when she came in to see us, she was only 50 at the time when we met, uh, she had already had severe symptoms for quite some time. Uh, so we talked about the different options. Uh, she had already exhausted all the conservative things uh, before surgery. And she's very active too, she so you're not going to put, you're not going to slow her down. No, exactly, <laughs> exactly. So we had a good conversation, mm -hmm. right? So uh, obviously you think of older folks, like you said, yeah. uh, she's younger. So uh, the thought is that you want to put it off as long as possible. But once it affects your quality of life, like it was with her, mm -hmm. doing simple things that give her her joy in life, right? Uh, that's when we decide to move forward with hip replacement. Obviously, the old adage of every 10, 15 years a hip replacement has to be redone uh, really is no longer the case. The new ceramic on plastic, the highly crosslinked polyethylene we use, wears at a much slower rate. And so the thought is that you won't have to have it redone that early. However, at 50 or 51, uh, you're more likely to have to have something redone in your lifetime than say if you have it at 75 or 80. Okay. But if you have to wait till you're 75 when you have severe symptoms at 50, that's 20 plus years of yeah. severe yeah. pain yeah. and diminishing your quality of life. And it's, you know, it's a checks and balances thing. Mm -hmm. So you keep saying the severe pain. If somebody out there is like, I've had pain for a couple weeks, that's not who we're talking about. It's more like the severe, right. I can't live my life normally. Right, generally that's not the case, but I do have patients that come in with a couple weeks of pain and they do have arthritis. Uh, and we start with the conservative measures first, right? Uh, uh, but sometimes they go on to have excruciating pain like Charlotte did yeah. uh, and end up with a replacement. So it's not a bad idea to just come in, be seen, right. get to meet us, uh, get some x-rays and talk about the different options uh, and what best works for you and your lifestyle. So Charlotte, I'm going to get a little personal here okay. because you have a bikini I do. <laughs> and incision Dr. instead. Dr. Nicholas is at the time, he was the only surgeon in Utah that was mm -hmm. doing the bikini incision. I didn't even know it was an option. Right. But you know, normally the, the scar runs this way, right. mine goes just along the bikini line. And so you don't it, even see so it, So both people. of them. <laughs> I'm so yeah. grateful. That is a big deal. I, I <laughs> 100% and I'm like, scars? No, I can't yeah. have it. Yeah, because I was looking online at people's scars and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna never, I'm gonna be disfigured, you know? And you're an actress, yes. so you have, you've got, you've got to look good. And you know, Dr. Nicholas touched on something about, you know, making contact early. Mm -hmm. I think it's about a relationship with your surgeon. So for me, it was really in my best interest to get to know him mm -hmm. and build that relationship because he's going to be my orthopedic surgeon for a really long time. <laughs> if I'm going back to another you know, man in your life for a while. <laughs> exactly. But no, I've been so grateful and he's just, his whole team is fantastic. And you're yeah. doing amazing. You you can live your life yes. just as you did before. Absolutely. I'm skiing, I'm hiking, I'm walking the dog, going upstairs, doing my regular yoga practice with no, no issues. Good for you. Yeah. Well, if somebody is out there and they are suffering, how can they get in contact with you or at least make that first that first appointment? Yeah, so we're at Salt Lake Orthopedic Clinic here at St. Mark's, uh, saltlakeorthopedics.com. Uh, we have a website, uh, but we just have a fantastic staff, a fantastic office that really uh, can help get you to the right doctor, uh, whatever orthopedic needs you have. Uh, so we have a group of a great group of doctors that, that I work with uh, that really love to take care of patients. And do you know what? I'm starting to believe that more and more because I've done now a <laughs> few interviews and I've met several doctors, patients, and each story is the same. Mm -hmm. So check them out at St. Mark's if you want to be among, you know, people like this. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Thank you, you as too. well. <laughs>